the reaction that I'm doing today is going to be a little bit different than some of the other ones that I've done because um, they've all been like you know silent films and early experimental CGI type of reactions like very much staying within the vintage overall theme there is to my channel um, and this is not in that category I would say it's about something old something extinct <laughs> but definitely much different. We are looking at the dinosaur vocalization study, which um, is a as accurate as possible with the current knowledge that there is on um, prehistoric animals, specifically dinosaurs, on what they would have sounded like. Now, I have watched some of these already, so I'm going to be reacting to the one that I have not watched yet. And um, depending on how I feel, maybe I will um, re-watch maybe a small clip of one of the other ones I already watched. But let's get into this. Um, Dinosaur vocalization study part V, V, so that would be five, right? I don't know. Anyway, let's get into it. Dinosaurs, prehistoric animals, one of my special interests. I'm very, very curious. Play. I'm not reading the text. You can go and look at this yourself and read that if you want. I will have the link to the original video in the description. Arizonasaurus? I think I know where they dug up the bones. It doesn't sound that scary compared to some of the others that I heard. in there. I like the illustrations on the screen. That's a very guttural sound. They did add a little bit of an echo to these. big guy here.
I'm not reading all the names, by the way. <laughs> Some of these dinosaurs I have not seen much of before. Okay, now we're talking. An aquatic one. Looks a little like Ichthyosaurus, but not exactly. Thank you for watching. Okay, that was it. Stop. Um, so, the little bit of an echo <laughs> that they added to uh, the audio worked really, really well for that last one because for an aquatic creature, you would have a little bit of an echo going on in the water, so I mean, that works. Um, none of these had sounds that were particularly scary. Um, some of the other ones that I had listened to previously definitely made sounds that were more... No thank you. <laughs> um, so I think, should I quickly go back and, and, and re-listen? on camera and you guys can listen with me. Um, why don't, why don't I, why don't we listen to the popular ones? Let's do Raptor, T-Rex, and, um, and one more, one more aquatic creature. How about we do that? Sound good? Um, so I just got the video ready and, um, I think I will actually just play another entire video because there's a few other popular dinosaurs in this one including Triceratops and Mosasaurus. So let's just go through this entire one. This one is the Cretaceous era. Um, so let's, let's listen. Play. Again, I'm not reading the text at the beginning, so...
So this is Velociraptor, and now here's the Utah Raptor. Sounds like it's smelling. That sounded like a ribbit. I want to make sure I'm in frame. Sounds a laughing. No thanks. T Rex. prehistoric siren head. I don't like that. I don't I don't like the guttural sounds. Plasmosaurus, the largest plesiosaur, the favorite child. That's the Mosasaurus, okay.
Yeah, that's another no thanks. Quetzal coatless. So it's not pterodactyl, but it's some type of pterosaur, I think. I know I said I watched this already, but it was like a couple months ago. like a canine. pay me enough to get near that noise. Okay. And that's it. Um, so... As I said, I did see that before, but it was a couple months ago, so I didn't remember everything exactly. Um, and it was interesting to see again, and it was interesting to view that other one for the first time. Um, I'm interested as to how the studies were conducted in order to um, make these recreations. Um, because I, I imagine they probably used, like, the neck bones in some sort of way to see how sound would bounce off of them, like, to test the acoustics, perhaps, which is why this probably isn't that accurate, but the whole thing is that it's the most accurate recreation of the sounds those dinosaurs would have made that we can make with the knowledge that we have um, at the moment. I say we as if I'm part of it, scientists, I mean. So thank you for watching this with me. This will be in the playlist that I have in my channel of all my other reactions, so check that out if you would like, and I will see you next time.